So today on Survival Cases, we have a very special guest. He really wants to just go ahead and share his story with the world. So let's go ahead and introduce him. So, do you mind telling the world what your name is, sir? My name is Hugh. Hugh Janus. Are you serious? I'm not calling you Hugh Janus. What's, what's wrong with my name? If it bothers you so much, you just call me Mr. Janus. You know what? That's, that's, that's besides the point. The people really want to know, are the allocations true about what Cardi B did to you? Let me ask you something. Do I look like Jesse Smollett? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just on to the next question. Can you tell me why you didn't come dressed appropriately to this interview? Why I don't have any clothes? Why am I dressed inappropriately? That bitch robbed me. She's a menace. I understand. But can you tell us how it all happened? The whole experience? Yeah, I can tell you what happened. I'll tell you the whole story. So, one day, you know what I'm saying, back in my drugging days, back when I, man, I was bringing in at least, at least 100K a month. Kingpin status, nigga. Basically, all I did, I went to a strip club one night, like I do every Friday. Every Friday, Saturday, recover on Sunday. Everyone, every time, every weekend. Same thing I do. One strip club, I see her. They didn't call her Cardi B that then. You know what I'm saying? They ain't call her Cardi B much less than a just a, another random stripper. And I said, oh, she got a she kinda cute, she got the yams on her. She got the yams on her, so I'm like, alright, and they natural. So I go up to her, I'd be like, hey, whoop de whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? I wanna take you back to the hotel or whatever. So she be like, she was like, ah, ah, that SpongeBob ass laugh, and then she tell, she comes and's like, she's like, okay, meet me after the, uh, meet me after the um, strip club closes. So you know what I'm saying? I meet her, we drive to the location, and all of a sudden she talks, she go to the bathroom. I'm like, why is she going to the bathroom? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to bust mine. I'm just trying to bust mine to kick her out. You know what I'm saying? But, she went to the bathroom, she was in there for a minute. And all of a sudden, she come out of the bathroom with some drinks. I'm like, what? And she was like, she was like, you know what I'm saying? If you want to hit it, you know what I'm saying? Just, let's just have a couple drinks. So I take the drink, and then my head is woozy. I'm like, what's, what's going on? So, like while I was while I was getting woozier and woozier, things were spinning. Guess what I heard? So what happened after that? It's what I heard. I heard a cur, a cur, a cur. I had, I had to hear it like twelve times, and then all of a sudden, I'm asleep. I don't know what I ain't know what happened. I woke up. I'm naked. Keep in mind, I had man, I had Gucci, Javinci, all that. All that, and I had a Fendi belt. She took all that. Look at my accounts, they all wiped out. I don't even know how she got in my phone. I'm naked. And then, and that's not all. I have my left hand tied to the bed. I look over, you know what I see? I, start, I see a girl turn the other way. She turned over talking about some, hey, how you doing? I'm like, did this really get a trans? I don't know if I can say this on your show, but did she really get a trans? And then I, 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 the worst part, the worst part was my butt was hurt. That wasn't cool. And and I'm I'm like, so this she, she she really did this to me, Mr. Janus. So why wait and why come out now? Well, I'm not really, I'm not really big into this this hip hop thing. I don't really keep up with it. But then, just recently, a couple months back, I see some trademark. A curve. I was like, that noise is familiar. And I look into it, and it happens to be this Cardi B, this Cardi B person. Now, I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? And then, I, man. Is this wrong? 
it's wrong to go a double R and it's not a Rolls Royce. It goes from rags to riches, you know what I'm saying? She went from rags to riches from raping and robbing. Before we ask you this next question, we have a message from Bill Cosby to Cardi B that he wants her to see. Cardi Car 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 B should be right here with me. Now you know this now, she been drugging and raping people now. Y'all say it with me, I been doing this stuff, y'all got me with the look, but hey, she been doing the same thing, she's a female, but she be right here now, Cardi, you be right here with me in the shell now. Put them, put them pops, please give me some put them pops, please, please. So in your mind, would you compare her to the likes of Bill Cosby and what he did? Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby was a saint compared to her. Maybe he drugged women and raped them. That's most definitely wrong, don't get me wrong. But why when a woman rapes a man, it's okay. She not only drugged them, raped them, she also robbed. And when a man does it to a woman, society's like, it's horrible, they automatically jump on it. But when it's a woman to a man, they don't really care. So, from what you see today, folks, this man was not only robbed, but raped and his self-esteem was harmed. As you can see, this man did, in fact, survive Cardi B. How y'all doing, man? Look, I know that video was good. I need y'all to share this. I need y'all to like it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody just is doing it. His link's in the description. And so is Jarrell's. His link is in the description, too. I need y'all to go there. Subscribe to their channels, too. I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get it to the top. Like and subscribe!